Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Sneo from Nobody No One. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. Not to be confused with Leo or Tio. A remake of Sneo Galaxy Eyes Photon Test by Camerson1313. Make sure to check out his workshop because it's got some pretty neat, if huge and difficult, maps. This version changes the crazy visuals and generally makes the design more elegant. Pulling two funnels of the same color together, e.g. placing a portal at the source of each orange funnel so that they interlock and pull in opposite directions is not necessary to complete this test. Difficulty 5 out of 7. Bonus challenge, find the Easter egg room with 11 companion cubes, a reference to Camerson's map, The Grand Convergence, which contains 11 cubes. And music is by Mike Astro. All right. So yeah, we have played the original, and was it Monopole? Wow, I'm not sure how much I remember. Well, I have no portal, so... Okay. Interesting. I don't remember this being a monoportal map, but hey. When you got cra the crazy visuals going on that we had in the map, it could be anything, right? Alright, so I think that other one resets absolutely everything. Yeah, this one's a full reset, right? I'm gonna press it. Yes. That's a full reset. Alright, so what I can actually do instead is this. Then I can go back over here. And do this. To the cube swapper. Oh, you didn't see that one, did we? Also, looks suspicious. Just saying. I don't know what the noise was, because it sounds like a piston platform, but it's the button, isn't it? It's that button there, rising up and down. So we go through here. And that should be part one done. Just for sanity. Oh. Hidden, sneaky, sneaky. So there must be a way then to activate this using different button combinations, I guess. But yeah, I don't know what that is. Anywho, now we get ourselves a portal gun in a pretty pretty white styly awesome we got a whole load of lights going on there All right up we go where it stops nobody knows I'm assuming a trance <laughs> all right so onwards we go okay so uh, I think that was return path if I remember rightly I gotta remember what it is I need to do here. I th if I remember though, I, was, I solved this one pretty quickly in my original playthrough of the original map, so. Yeah, so that gives me that, so I can go back across to there. Oh, that's not what I wanna do. 
So now we can go to here and go through to there. And we can pull ourselves through here. Should we so desire. But not sure how that helps. Drops onto the floor. It's not level with that, so we can't do that with it either. I mean, that just falls to the floor, so I mean, that's not really of any use, is it? Because I'm pretty sure what that will now do is... And I could do that, but I don't think that's intended. If I'm honest. Seems a little bit cheaty-cheaty. Alright, so we'll go back to here. How did we do this? So I know I had to go in there at some point, right? That is a thing I could do. But I don't think I can see that from there, can I? No. So, getting over here would then be a trapping situation. I can see that. I don't know if that's... I mean, if that's up there, I could do this to here, right? Okay. Let's do this. Let's set this up again. So, we're going to have that to there, that to there, push this across to here like this. Okay, so, from here. Okay, gotta be there though. So, I'm gonna wanna do this, this, to push myself back to here. I think that would help, though. Is 
So I guess I can pull that across there, but I can't then see that, can I? But I could have done that. But that doesn't really help, does it? Let's let's go back and do what I did again before. So I got to, went across to here, and then swap these around like that. So the minute that does that, that's going to then turn into a, for lack of a better term, a sucking funnel. Interesting. What did I do? What did I do in that original playthrough? I mean... I could do something as simple as this. Oh, but then that's the wrong way. I need to funnel in there. Look suspicious. Very suspicious. I 
I mean, like I said, I can quite easily put that on the ledge. I can quite easily put that in the funnel. But I don't think throwing is intended. But, for the life of me, I can't remember what I did the first time around I played this map. When I played the original. Frustration. Big frustration. That was a really bad shot. So you move that off there and it gets swapped round. I can't remember what I did. And it's bugging me. Um, it took me 20 minutes originally. We're already nearly Where at 20 minutes. <laughs> what did I do? I've already got the cube over there at this point. I'm sorry, I'm just looking. I know you can't see, you guys can't see, but I'm already sort of looking. All right, so, <clears throat> all right, that's probably why I'm not seeing it. So the difference between the versions here is, um, I could see that from here, which obviously I can't now see. So that's why I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to kind of do that. Or to see how to do that. I mean, I could also pass through there in the original. So that's another hindrance. So what else can I do though? Because I, I get across there. 
What am I meant to do from this side? Because I need to have the blue... I need to have a blue funnel. Hold on. No, I can't see that from there. So if I could just do confused so it looks like I am gonna have to spend a little bit of time I 
working on this one. I mean... does nothing for me. Alright, well. I'm going to have to go to the drawing board with this one. I thought I was going to have a, an easy run of maps for a few days. Clearly not. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have a play around, see what I can come up with. I, I still don't think throwing the cube up there is intended. Um, I don't know why I can't even shoot that there, but... Yeah, I don't think that's intended, so I have to have a play around for a little bit, see what I can come up with, and um, we'll be right back. All right, so we are back. It is a brand new day, and um, I worked it all out. Yeah, um, took me a while. It took me a while, but the, I think the key thing I didn't take from um, the description was you can't put a portal on both the same colored portals, but it didn't say anything about not doing it on different colored portals. So, um, what I ended up doing was something along the line of this and this, which kind of gives me this, uh, basically both funnels allows me to travel, because both the funnels are traveling in the same direction, right? So, we can do that. Now, we're going to want to push the uh, cube back. So, hopefully, I can do that first time to take a couple of times before um, which allows me to come over here with the second funnel so when I pick up the cube I now have a funnel that's going to push me back over to here with the cube so far so good all right so next up what we need to do is we need to get the portal into here so to do that we're simply going to do this, put cube on, the cube on the button, jump through into here, and we are now over to this side. Everything so far is going relatively well. Now we can change the portals, and we're going to want to then go into there. What this is going to do for us is it's going to give us access to this final funnel right here. And allow us to go back, of course. So we'll go back over this direction. Put a portal on here. This will then give us a push funnel once more. So that we can then return back over to this direction over here. So, when I was working things out off camera, I got to this point and I was like, okay, so what do I do here? I was pretty sure that I needed to push the cube and then use that funnel to get on top here, which I, like I say, I, I was pretty confident, pretty sure about doing that. Um, what I wasn't so sure or confident about, though, was how I then go about getting the cube up to the top because you have to push it off to reverse the funnels and then you kind of get up to the top but there's no way then to reverse the funnel um, anymore or further and yeah it was quite a um, it was quite a weird 
thing that I couldn't come up with, but eventually I saw the answer. So, we go like this, then we go up to here, and through here. So this puts the portals in the right position. And one thing I'd overlooked is the fact that that fizzler is the other side of the grating. So, it allows me to come all the way over here without losing a portal, and fire onto there to get the forward funnel, and then fire onto there to send the cube over in this direction, like so. So, there we go. That is how we complete Sneer. And I think, yeah, like, like I said earlier on in the video, I, I checked back on my original playthrough of um, the Camerson map. Oh, hello. That's interesting. That fizzler's not turned off. All right, hold on. Um, yeah, like I said in the, my original playthrough of the Camerson map, I, I, cl I clearly broke the map. So um, it kind of threw me off a little bit as to... Oh, hello. That's allowed me to go around here. Anyway, let's go down here. Where is this taking me? Hey, it's this secret area with the extra things and stuff and stuff and things. All 11 cubes right there, look. Allows for you to have a little bit of experimentation and a little bit of luck. I found the Easter egg at least. That's uh, something quite positive. What's not so positive, though, is the fact that um, then I think you have to go all the way around again, don't you? Yes. Yes, you do. All right, well, we'll really let it say. But, uh, yeah, the fact that I broke it kind of skewed my vision um, a little bit. So this one definitely... Um, if that's the intended solution, definitely enforces that. I like the fact that the return path fizzles the cube, so you can't, um, you know, put the cube anywhere and then think, oh, I'll go back. Um, basically, like what I was doing here, and I was saying earlier on in the profile, I, I, I could do it by throwing the cube, I, but I don't think that's intended. It's clearly not intended, because um, the minute you go through there, that cube's fizzled. So it's a good um, kind of way of enforcing the solution, almost. Um... But yeah, it's a, it is a very clever puzzle. I know it's not an original puzzle by yourself, nobody, but um, I like the uh, improvements that you have made um, in this one and the ways that you have uh, enforced the solution. Well, one thing I'm not sure about, though, and um, a little bit interested about was the, um, the whole this. I, I don't know what this is about. What's this about? What's this one about here? Is it just some way of... Um, this is just some way, I guess, maybe, of clearing auto portals, maybe? That's, maybe that's what you're doing with that. Maybe. Honestly, I, I don't really know. I've spent enough time rambling and analysing this map now, so, um, yeah, good stuff though, nobody. Thank you very much for making and suggesting, and, um... I hope, I'm sure Camelson uh, is quite happy with the way you have remade the map. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match you'd like to play, please leave in the comments or head up to my Google form. I'll link to that is in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.